Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, I just want to show what I have been showing for the last couple weeks, how there is a major horse narrative that is going on in relation to the Russia invading Ukraine and how it's linked up to this boxing narrative and a whole bunch of other things. I'll leave a link in the description. You can check out some of these recent videos, but notice they're all have to do with horses, right? A ton of stuff with horses. Even talked about how I had synchronicity in 2018 with the Family Guy episode where Peter Griffin wants to box Vladimir Putin. And when you look up the episode, the picture they give you is him and Peter sitting on horses. And last night, I, me and my girlfriend and our family, we went out to eat at this restaurant about 20 minutes away and there wasn't very many people there, but a kid I went to high school with was there and he was got an order to go. And he mentioned how he was going to go home and watch South Park. And I was like, man, I can't believe I forgot to watch the South Park last night because South Park is like my favorite show. And, you know, I've blogged about it multiple times and so on. And I was like, I'm going to go home and watch the South Park. So I went home and I start watching the the new South Park episode and so on. And... Would you believe that the episode, you know, it's a big joke about, or it's not a joke, but, you know, they're they're spoofing the, the Cold War and the stuff with Russia and Ukraine. And literally right in the very beginning or the first couple of minutes in here, they say that the episode is starring Butters, Melancholy the Horse, and then Vladimir Putin. And Vladimir Putin is riding a horse. It's like, so Family Guy depicts Vladimir Putin on a horse. Now we get this new South Park episode after I'm talking about all of this horse symbolism with Vladimir Putin and a horse and the South Park makes the whole episode about horses. You know, like right after they show Vladimir Putin, they go to this equestrian facility and the whole episode is about how Butters has to beat this Russian kid on the at the horse contest, right? And it's like, what are the odds that the whole episode is about horses and so on? I got to be the only person in the world talking about this, you know, this horse narrative. It's so odd. And then my favorite TV show, they do a whole episode about horses and it involves Vladimir Putin. I mean, and what's even funnier is right in the very beginning, they mentioned that the, the kid, the Russian kid, his father is Dan Solikov, right? And think about how my name is Dan. You know, I'm like, are they like reading my blog? You know, it almost feels that way sometimes. It's like. They're making a, they made a whole episode about horses, right? After talking about all this horse theme. And of course, you know, South Park's also linked to the horse theme because in Gematria, a horse equals 129 and South Park equals 129. But what, what really stood out to me after seeing that, they, so they say the Dan and I'm like, huh, what is that about? You know, but if you go from the day this episode came out to my birthday, it's 254 days and. Dan Solikov equals 254. Dan Barrett, my name equals 254. My full name, Daniel Edward Barrett, equals 254. This is season 25, episode 4, like 254. You know, it's like, I just got done making a video talking about how around the same time that I had the synchronicity with Vladimir Putin, because the reason I had the synchronicity with Vladimir Putin and Family Guy was on, it was on July 17th of... 2018 I Donald Trump had just met Vladimir Putin and the very next day I was going to blog about that and look at the the gematria and so on and I happened to look up at the TV and there was an episode of Family Guy playing where Vladimir Putin comes and meets Peter Griffin right and I was like what are the odds and so on and but the day before that I had synchronicity with Family Guy and my daughter or my my girlfriend messaging me something about getting our son vaccinated and I started thinking about autism and vaccines and so on and I came home and I was sitting there talking to my girlfriend I looked up the tv and the family guy episode called hot shots was playing and it just so happened to have at the very end Sean Penn save Stewie but the whole episode is about vaccines and quarantining the town and think about that in relation to what's going on in the world right now and Sean Penn, of course, was just in the news on 3-1 about how he was in Ukraine filming a movie, a documentary, and he had to flee to Poland, right? So Sean Penn in the news. So Sean Penn, in this episode, I had these two synchronicities back in 2018, both linked up to 
the ongoing narrative that is going on right now. And the reason I bring all that up is because all these 254s with me, if you go back and look, Sean Penn also equals 254. I talked about how it was linked up to San Francisco in his film called Milk, where he portrays Harvey Milk, the first gay official in San Francisco and so on. But San Francisco 254, William Penn 254, Bridge Collapse 254. And Sean Penn is really related to that bridge collapse that happened in Pittsburgh on January 28th. And a whole bunch of synchronicity I had, you know, I talked in my old video about them posts in 2018, I talked about there was a theme with nine days before and nine days before the bridge collapse, I actually had synchronicity with my sister and her name equals 128. And then nine days later, we got the bridge collapse in uh, Pittsburgh and bridge collapse equals 128 as well. So. I've also been talking about how this year is really important to Skull and Bones, right? And Skull and Bones equals 254. And the the new Batman movie that's coming out, that actually comes out today, is really important to the, the Dark Knight Rises that has the football stadium that blows up and they flash the number 322 right before they blow up the stadium, which is the number of Skull and Bones. And think about George Bush and John Kerry, who are both members of Skull and Bones. And think about 9-11 and George Bush and... A whole lot more, you know, but Skull and Bones 254, 9-11 on the 254th day of the year. If you write out the World Trade Center, it equals 322. But uh, I'm just mentioning that because after he blows up the football stadium, they blow up all the bridges around town, you know. Think about San Francisco and the Golden Gate Bridge. and Think about how in 2018, let me just pull up the post here, but in 2018... Vladimir Putin, the same year that had all these synchronicities, Vladimir Putin opened the Crimea Bridge, right? May 15th. Which is interesting because May 15th is the 135th day of the year. And anything that equals 135 in simple gematria also equals 810 in the Sumerian gematria. And Golden Gate Bridge also equals 135 and 810. So... I, don't, I guess I don't know why. I, I'll show you why I brought this up in a second. Because uh, it, it reminds me of 2019 and Kobe Bryant. His uh, name also equals 135. And at the very end of this episode, the, the Russian kid's wearing the his horse. The, the Russian kid's riding the horse. He's wearing the number 823 on his back. And that's 823 is Kobe Bryant's birthday and Volcanelia and a bunch of stuff. But... You know, just interesting that same year Putin opened up this, the Crimea Bridge. He also opened this bridge 220 days after his birthday. And this is a, a humongous number, right? Because Donald John Trump equals 220. Vladimir Putin, his name in the Francis Bacon cipher equals 220. Talked about how the bridge symbolism was linked up to Pope Francis like crazy that year because the word pontiff means bridge builder, you know, and Pope Francis was telling Donald Trump that, uh, you know, Christians don't build walls, they build bridges and stuff like that. But Pope Francis, his birthday is two months and 20 days after the Jesuit anniversary. He's the first Jesuit pope. The Jesuits were approved by the 220th pope, Pope Paul III. Paul III equals 220 in Gematria. So, Prince Charles also equals 220. It's a big number, but, you know, it's interesting that they would choose that day, May 15th. And it was also 75 days after, 75 days after Vladimir Putin boasted his military might with this animation of a nuclear attack in Florida, right? And that's interesting because if you write out Russia, it equals 75. If you're at World War III, it also equals 75. But anyway, let, let me go back to this original post here. So, you know, it's interesting. My name's 254. This is 254 days before my birthday and all that stuff. But this new South Park episode just so happened to come out 219 days before Vladimir Putin's birthday. Or a span of 220, right? That big number with his name and so on. But... 219 is even more interesting because that's the big number I'm talking about with this horse narrative, right? And how Medina's spirit had 
Died 219 days after the Kentucky Derby in Kentucky equals 219. And Medina Spirit died two months and 19 days after its owner's birthday. And then, you know, it was all linked up to the Mandela effect. And then 219 days after Nelson Mandela's birthday, we got the story about uh, Kentucky or uh, Medina Spirit's win being nullified and a whole lot more. 219, a humongous number with the horse narrative if you go back and watch these other videos. And... Notice it's also seven months and five days, Russia 75, you know, World War III 75. That big meeting with Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump was in Finland that was like 75 days or something before the Finland president's birthday. And I think Finland equals 75, a whole bunch of stuff. I could be wrong what I said there, but maybe it's Helsinki, Finland. Yeah, Helsinki, Finland, 75. Just all kinds of stuff with this number 75. So it's interesting. South Park would put this episode out, you know. And I'm going to skip over this for right now, but the what, what just really stands out to me is that we got the Family Guy episode doing the horse stuff. Then now we got a South Park episode doing the horse stuff with Vladimir Putin. And I was like, I wonder if the Simpsons have any episodes with Vladimir Putin. And the only episode that they have with Vladimir Putin isn't an official episode, but it's like a short that came out in October of 2016 called Homer Votes 2016. And look, in the one and a half minute clip, they have Vladimir Putin riding a horse. You know what I mean? It's like, or minute 36, they have Vladimir Putin riding a horse. And even if Vladimir Putin does love horses or whatever, I mean, there's a million other things that these cartoons could choose to, you know, spoof with Vladimir Putin. And the three big cartoons... Family Guy, The Simpsons, and South Park, they all choose to mock Putin with a horse, you know, of, of all things. It's like, what are the odds, you know? Plus Butters. The, the rest of the episode involves Butters. Like, the whole thing is about Butters and his horse contest against the Russian. And Butters, if you look up, his birthday is 9-11, the 254th day of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like... And Butters is also Professor Chaos. Think about 9-11 and Chaos. And I also, the same day that I had all this, I had synchronicity with the word cow. Like uh, this girl from work, she brought deer jerky to work. And I was like, I don't really like deer jerky because I really don't like deer jerky. It just doesn't taste the same as like, you know, beef jerky or whatever, like like cow jerky, you know. And then I thought of that Nirvana song called Mr. Mustache. And he says, yes, I eat cow. I am not proud. And I don't know. I played that song and so on and whatever. Then I, I had to go pick up my son at preschool. And then I come back to work on Thursdays and I picked him up and I noticed that my license plate, the letters are K-O-W. And I was like, huh, cow or whatever. That's interesting. And then I came home and I watched that South Park episode later in the night and then I remembered that the South Park mascot is the cow. So I don't know if there's something to do with cows. But what's interesting about the cow thing is that in 2019, this big day we were following linked up to San Francisco was Tisha Bob, right? August 10th and August 11th and how it was linked up to San Francisco. But it had a lot to do with the ginger cow prophecy, right? The red haired heifer prophecy. And South Park also has an episode called the ginger cow where they talk about that prophecy so it just makes me wonder if there's something important to how that all leaks up and i've been saying this date august 6 2022 is the day tisha bob begins and it, that's the, also the day world trade center construction began in 1968 and it's also was the 219th day of the year because it was a leap year in 68 and a whole lot more you know so this big this day is really big for whatever reason so I'm really paying attention to this day. And that doesn't mean anything's going to happen, but symbolically there's something important to that day. That's all I know. Just like how August 10th and 11th, it was really symbolic for us to learn the Francis Bacon ciphers that I keep talking about over and over. It was like there was all these things leading up that kind of like made me realize we're supposed to learn something new with Gematria, or at least me personally, and it turned out to be these Francis Bacon ciphers that I keep talking about over and over and over. Because they just, they link up so ridiculous, you know? Like, 
Just yesterday we had that story about how Vladimir Putin said everything was going to plan and they highlighted to plan in the media, right? And to plan equals 168. And if you know the Francis Bacon ciphers, Vladimir Putin it also equals 168, right? So just like to plan. And, you know, it just makes sense. You know, looking at Vladimir Putin here, 235 as well. In relation to Kobe Bryant, his birthday was on the 235th day of the year. So, huh. Now I'm really thinking about that day there. August 23rd. But also, May 23rd is interesting too, because in Satanic, Donald Trump equals 523. And that's the, like, the mirror day of August 10th. August 10th is 222nd day, leaving the 143. So. But this would be 23 slash 5, right? Like 235, so. Who knows? But after I, after I had all that cow stuff, I was so I played the Nirvana song. And then, for whatever reason, I just played the song Killing Joke called 80s, because that's the song that sounds a lot like Come As You Are. I was trying to see if the girls at work would get faked out by it because it starts off kind of like come as you are, but they weren't even paying any attention to it when it came on. But I was looking at the video and they got the Soviet Union flag in the background too. And I, I guess it makes sense because the song's about the 1980s and whatever, but it's just interesting. I never noticed that before. And I was like, huh, you know, with all this stuff with Russia and... But Cold War equals 128 too. And, you know, Bridge Collapse is 128 so, it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical bridge either, right? Just building bridges. And uh, they even did that when uh, Moon JN or whatever, he met uh, Kim Jong-un in 2018. That was when Donald Trump also met Kim Jong-un, but they said that they were building bridges and so on, you know? And there was a big bridge narrative that was going on in 2018. Then the Crimea Bridge, and we had the FIU Bridge collapse that year. The Super Bowl was linked up to the bridge symbolism. And then to, to finish off this episode, so Butter's horse goes and starts having sex with the Russian kid's horse, and then the Russian kid falls off. Like I said, he has the number 823 reminding us of Kobe Bryant's birthday. But when he falls off, they bring out like a boxing ref and he starts doing a countdown, you know. And think about how this whole boxing narrative is also related to what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, like look at these videos here. I'm talking about how it's boxing and horses. And Sylvester Stallone is also a lover of horses. And his last name Stallone is actually Italian for the word stallion. Italian stallion. A stallion is a male horse. Think about how Butter's horse in this episode starts having sex with the Russian kid's horse, right? The male horse. Talked about how the mayor of Kiev, Ukraine, is also a famous boxer. And think about the play on words, how the, a mare, M-A-R-E, is a female horse. The mayor of Kiev is a boxer, you know? So, and then it's all linked up to Rocky, the film Rocky, Sylvester Stallone, boxing. You no, know, 823 is also, I think, the 143rd prime number. I'm pretty sure, anyway. That's 823 is the 143rd prime number, and I'm just thinking about May 23rd again, which is the day leaving 100, or it's the 143rd day. And, you know, August 10th, that big day I was following in 2019 and so on. It's the day leaving 143 days in the year. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. But, you know, Kobe Bryant, his name equals 810, just like Golden Gate Bridge equals 810. So. I'll leave it at that. I just really wanted to point out how... It's crazy that South Park would do this episode, and it's all about horses. You know what else is interesting? I just noticed, too. I stopped the video there as my kid came in, but the word bridge also equals 143. 
So interesting day, you know, linked up August 10th or May 23rd even. Linked up to bridge symbolism somehow. Think how Queen Elizabeth is all linked up to the bridge symbolism. London Bridge is falling down. Is the, the code when Queen Elizabeth dies and we got London Breed, who is the 45th mayor of San Francisco. Right? Bridge is 45. Her birthday is August 11th, which was Tisha Bob in 2019. I will have to think more on this, but there's definitely this whole narrative I've talked about from years past is all linked up to Ukraine and a big horse narrative. So we'll send it there. We'll see how it all plays out or whatever, but have a good one. Peace.